Hey, what's up guys? FRP here and I'm going to be doing a quick little tutorial for you guys just covering the basics of Sevio and how to use it. Um, I'll be going over uh, just how to use the interface and like which each does. Um, for this tutorial, I'm only going to be covering the song editor because I don't have the talk editor yet. Um, I'll be getting that when I get One, so that way uh, I'll be able to show you guys how to use that as well. But um, the basics, I'm going to go over what each of these things do because they're all pretty much in Japanese it's a Japanese software there's no English uh, version of Sevio available I don't even think it's been um, not romanized but uh, translated yet and uh, basically what each of these does and how to use it effectively and, you know to make covers and stuff and I'll be showing you um, how to load and convert VSQ files to CSS files for Sevio to read so um, first things first, um, Sevio is a software unlike Vocaloid where on the note editor instead of being able to use Romaji uh, you would strictly have to use Hiragana so as you can see each note is a random Hiragana note so um, it, you can't really use uh, Romaji you can put in a letter in Romaji but oops sorry that's Hiragana still but you can put in a letter in uh, Romaji and you'll get an error. I don't know why it won't let me do that. Let me just put it in English so that way I won't get an issue. So you can do it, but you'll get an error message right here. And when you play the uh, lyric back, it will be silent. So let me go ahead and put this back in the Japanese. Um, so let me change this back to ah. Uh. And uh, so basically you have your note editor right here, you have your piano roll, it's pretty much the same as Vocaloid where you click at these and um, you'll hear like the playback for each of the notes. Um, say you have something that overlaps or something like that, you can right click here and go to normalize and you can normalize it just like in Vocaloid. Um, you can uh, select all events by right clicking on any note and then clicking on the A and it'll select all the notes. So say you wanted to add lyrics or something, I think this is the I you can go to insert lyrics so say I want to do I A E oops ah uh, uh, no stop it ah uh, A E O U and then uh, you can click OK and it'll change all of them into I A E O U and then um, for some reason I can't really play it back but um, I think if you move these around you can hear how it sounds um, it's not doing it now I'm not really sure why, but uh, Sevio is also, I should mention this too, Sevio is a software you can only effectively use, I believe, connected to the internet. So I opened up Sevio before I disconnected from my internet, so that's why I'm able to use it now. But uh, if I were to, like, to close it out now and try to reopen it, I'll probably get an error message. But um, So uh, uh, this is your main little editor for like, different parts. So uh, this is basically just the top part like you see in the Vocaloid. You have all your tracks here and then you put all the notes and edit them here. So uh, you can add a different track by just right clicking and if you want it below it or above it, you can, I'm just, for the sake of it, I'm just going to copy this. Um, oh, I meant, I think I deleted everything. I didn't mean to do that. But I think it's the S where you can put one below it and then you can rename your track. So say you don't want to do that, you can... I have mine here now, so let's just say this is I E, and this will be O U, and then you can play both tracks together just like in Vocaloid. Um, this is basically to have one of these playing, so I believe this plays it, and then this silences it, and you can click off of it to do that. I'm not really sure what this does. This is the new update, but this you'll be able to change your singer. So right now I think I have Irie, so I can switch to Kasumi. That's Irie. Doesn't matter. If you don't want this here, depending on what singer you have, you can always right click it and um, change it here. So if you want it to be Irie, you can go click Irie and then Irie will be here next time you open it up. So moving on to the main part of the editor, um, being able to edit notes together. Uh, I have three just random notes right here. I'm just gonna move this longer. Um, if you want to edit the timing of it, so it's, uh, which one will play first. Say you want your consonant to play first, so you move this over, and then the vowel will play later, and that will be the timing. And then this will change your pitch, so if you don't want it to play on a G4, you can uh, use your pencil tool and move it up, so that way it'll play on B4, 
you can also do it below don't worry about whether or not orange and green because all this is doing is replacing your green so say if you have it all the way up here then instead of it playing the green part it'll just play the orange part and so on and so forth so i'm just gonna undo all that right now Oops. Undo, undo. and then i'm not really sure what volume does i believe this just controls like how loud your notes are so you can change that if you want experiment with that this right here is also like how loud your main part of your track will be so you can play around with that if you need something to be louder before um, you export it or if you want it to be louder as you export this can uh, VIA and VIF right here basically control your vibrato I don't even know how I like that. Um, but basically this controls like what you have on vibrato so it automatically will have vibrato some notes and you can't really get rid of them but say you wanted to change like oh I don't want the vibrato to be on D4 I want it to be on um, F4 you can just drag it over here and um, I'm not really sure what like messing with this other than a straight line will cause your vibrato to sound like but um, your VIF is what actually controls your vibrato so it will be normal here and you won't hear a vibrato until like it starts on the bar right here so if you want it to be uh, more extreme then you can always like make it go up further basically the slope of your line will control like how it sounds so I guess the steeper it is the more um, extreme it'll sound but just normal vibrato going like regular bar or if you can even have it fading out like that I believe uh, you can do that as well so I'm just gonna do all that and then you can change your beat right here just by clicking you can change the tempo the beat and everything just by clicking ok and then you can change it um, this just tells you like what second you're at so unlike Vocaloid which does it um, by measures I believe you can actually see the seconds depending on like what tempo you use so um, say you're like uh, all the way at uh, measure 31 then you'll be at like minute 102 you can also change your quantizer so going back to normal this is basically where you put your notes because you you don't really control anything other than normal with putting in notes so you'll always be putting in notes here and since this is the voice color series you can see this nice little um colors these basically represent the octaves so say you're at this one this will be your e4 at the yellow and this the other yellow will be e5 and so on and so forth for each one but yeah if you don't want to have it i just like having a Quantizer 1 out of 32 just so you can use like really small notes if you need them um, And if not then you can always just change it So if you want to be 1 4 or 1 16 or 1 8 whatever you want to do you can do that uh, Basically, this is file So if you want to do a completely new uh, Project you can just click on new, uh, the end and it'll make a new and you can just say no You don't want to save so this is basically your prompt if you want to save uh, Let me just put something so I can show you again so you go to F, N, and it'll ask you basically, do you want to save this? And you can say yes, no, or cancel. I'm going to click cancel. Open will let you open a CSS or a, um, that also is asking, do you want to save? So I'll open basically lets you open an existing CSS file. And a CSS, file, a CSS file is basically Sevio. Uh, you use it with Sevio, basically. It's basically the VSQ for Sevio. But, um, Save the S is basically save. So if I want to save this, I can save it. The A is save as. I is import, and you can import MIDI's, and you can um, basically type in the notes for the MIDI's, and then you can just use the MIDI, or you can import a music XML file, and I will do that in part two of this tutorial. So I will show you what I mean by that, and then you can also. Uh, when you're done with a file and you're ready to export the vocals, you can either export it as a music XML file, which I don't really recommend because I'm not really sure what that does. But I usually use the top one, which lets you export it as a simple wave to be played back later. And uh, moving on, this basically is like one of your recent files. So say you're working on something earlier and you accidentally X out, you can go back here and I'll just choose Deep, Deep Sea Girl for my example. Because I was working on that earlier. Um, oh, I think I moved that file. That's why it's saying that. Um, let me see if I have something else. No. Waiting, waiting. Uh, I have a really slow computer, so sorry if 
the waiting is a little long, but um, yeah. So this is um, my cover of Happy with Irie that I uploaded not too long ago. Um, and this is also an English cover, so I'll be going over how I did that, but moving on. This is basically edit, so if you want to undo or redo something, you can do that. I'm not really sure artist, so I wouldn't mess with it. Um, unless you know Japanese and go for it, you can do all those stuff you want. But this basically does the same thing that any of those does. You can change your beat, your chronicizer, uh, your measures, and all that. Um, I'm not really sure what any of these do. I know this, if you had, um, oh, that's not it. This, if you had the One trial, you can uh, have this like right here, and uh, you can click it and you'll be able to use her. This basically says about like what software version it is. Uh, because uh, I think Sevio updates every week, so you can get like a new update every week and uh, it'll fix like with some bugs or whatever. But uh, you have your, I have for this, I have my harmony and my main. And as you can see, if I move over a little bit, uh, moving, 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 I have my harmonies and they'll play on the same time, so you don't have to like do this or do that. It is sometimes because of my computer, because it's really slow you'll hear something before the other so sometimes i'll hear my main before i hear my harmony or vice versa so if that happens and you probably would want to just click on this just so you only hear like one track at a time um this basically says left or right like where would you hear it in your earphones and this controls how loud the voice will be in the end um as you can see this is all hiragana so Let's say, for example, I wanted to say I, you can just uh, sound it out, so it'll be I, E, so that's I, E, and when you play it back, it'll be together, so it'll be like I, but, um, that's just a quick little English thing for you guys, but, um, what am I trying to say? Oh, you can move this up and down, obviously, this controls, like, how zoomed in or zoomed out it is, uh, this controls, like, seeing right, left, um, this also does the same thing, like how zoomed in the editor is and how zoomed out it is. Be careful how you do it because I believe, um, say you did this for one track and you forgot to like make it go back to normal and you go out and come back in, it'll still be the same. And the same for this one. This basically says what zoomed out it is. So if you have a bunch of tracks here, you can like zoom it all the way out so you can see all your tracks. But I don't want really to need that right now because I only have two. So I'm going to have it where you can see both. Um, these are basically your main tools, your second vocal. You have your line tool, um, your pencil tool. Your pencil tool controls your notes. Your line tool, you can select the notes that uh, you like. Uh, this is your eraser tool. You can erase notes or uh, edits you made in pitch. Um, velocity, I think that, maybe that's velocity, I'm not sure. Um, or your, um, how much I say, or your vibrato. And then line basically, so say I had, let me go to this one. over here so say I have my line tool and I want to change the pitch I can make a pitch all the way up here just it's basically just a straight tool so like if you want it to be all the way up here or something like that you can even make it crazy I feel like you can like make stairs and sometimes I like doing that with vibrato you can make stairs or pitch you can make stairs and sometimes it's easier to have it a certain way I don't know it just depends on what you need for a certain song or what effect you're trying to go for and um, now I'm going to show you how to uh, make a new file. I'm going to show you how to import a music XML file and how to make one from a VSQ uh, file. So I'm going to open my Vocaloid editor. Um, wait on it. No, I do not. Because Sachiko is just my trial. But, um, so let's say I'm trying to do Betrayer module. Oh, where did it go? Okay, I'm just say I'm doing error. Um, I can use my job plugin to export it as a regular BSQ, or you don't have to, but it makes it, it makes the process easier. So that way, um, I'm gonna put it in my document. I think I already have one for error on this album. Because uh, this is where Utah will probably come in a lot handy. So I'm going to open Utah so that way it's easier. Because with Utah, you can directly export from a MIDI, whether you have a VSQX or whatever. 
So, waiting on that to come up. How is it already doing? Did it? I don't think so. Ignore my cluttered space of it. Oh, so say. My cluttered space of a desktop. It's very ugly. Oh, there we go. So, um, here's Utah. So, I can also go to one of my recent. So, let's say I want to use this one. Why, why I can't never open up a trader module? Okay. So say I want to do the same error thing I tried to open up in Google it. Um, you can just export it as MIDI or uh, you can export it as VSQX. And then this is where Condensi will come in. Condensi, you basically import either or and then export as a music XML file. And then you can open up multiple um, music xml files in one track otherwise if you just do a midi you would have to do each on a separate um basically at a separate time so here if you have a bunch of music xml files you can just import them import them import them onto the same uh, uh few tracks but if you do a midi file unless you did all the midis together then you have to do them separately like render them separately is basically what i'm trying to say um am i i think i don't think i'm missing anything if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, I will probably be doing a follow up on this as like Sevio updates, and of course for the talk editor as well. They give you like a little synopsis on how to use the talk editor, what you can do with the talk editor, how you can, because you can edit a lot more things with the talk editor than you can with the uh, song or voice editor. So like you can make the voice sound different. But I'll get into that later. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, feel free to ask me questions if you have any questions, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.